Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another awesome Google Docs lesson. Today, we're going to do one called Picks Three Ways. So, my friends, let's get cracking. Let's start by visiting Google, clicking the Google app, and starting a brand new Google Doc. When it launches, we are simply going to choose blank and then immediately change the name two picks, three ways, and then put our initials. We are going to start by putting a title. I need you to type things I like up here on the top. Select it by dragging the mouse across and then change it to a title. It'll look larger as it picks a size of 26. I want you then to pick a font that you think is cool. Remember, you can go through all the fonts. You can also hit more fonts and find something in the list that you think is awesome. When you've got a font you want to use, click OK. And then the next thing is to center it and pick a fancy font color. Now, all of these things I'm showing you are things you need to remember. Styles, fonts, font size, font color, and alignment where this is center align. When you're done with that, press enter. Notice it goes back to the left and it switches to normal text. That is exactly what we want it to do. Let's quickly type a sentence here. Pictures are awesome because they make our projects pop. When you press enter after typing that, I want you to then hit insert and we want to insert a table. And I need a table that is three by four. Today we're going to learn three different ways of doing pictures. The first one is going to be URL. The second one is going to be the search tool. Make sure you spell that correctly. And the last of the three is going to be the upload technique. When you've got those three typed, I want you to practice selecting them. And we want them to be centered. We want them to be bold. And then I also want you to make those cells have a cool color. When you do your colors, make sure you find the background color. And we always use either of these rows. We always use a light color. If you can't see those, it'll be because your screen is scrunched. And you'll have to hit these dots so that you can see the other items that are hidden. So our project is based right now on using the URL technique. Hit plus and then in a Google search, type something you think is cool. I'm a fan of the Detroit Lions, so I'm going to type the word Lions. And then I'm going to switch to images. Make sure you've got images on your screen. Google is pretty interesting. It shows you some cool searches. You can just go down through the list and find one that you think is cool. I'm going to go with this one right here. When I click the picture, it pops up the large window. With and that then large what you need to do on the screen, I need you to right click. You need to find the image address. When you hit that, I want you to hit copy. Then go back to your picks three ways. Click in the box. Do insert image. And we want to use the URL technique. When you get on this screen, you need to right click and you need to paste. If it is allowed, it will show up just like that. And you can hit insert. If it is not allowed, you'll just have to find a different version. When the picture comes in, I want you to shrink it so that it's reasonably small. And then you need to repeat that same technique two more times. My second thing that I search, I'm going to go up and this time I'm going to type ice cream. When I type in I-C-E-C-R-E-A-M, this time it'll already be locked on the images. Once again, I find ice cream that I think looks cool. I copy the image address move back to my document, choose insert image by URL because we're using that technique. I paste it. Once again, it works. So boom, I can use it. And then I use the same technique to shrink it so that it fits nice and neat. Make sure you've got three URL techniques and then move to the search. The search technique is really cool as well. Once again, you're going to hit insert image, but this time you're going to do search the web. When you click here, pick something you think is cool. I like cheese, so that means I like cows. Once again, go through and find a cow you think is cool. Click it and choose insert. 
it'll drop that image in your project. Once again, you can grab it, shrink it, and make it look awesome. Do that same technique three times. I'm gonna do it one more. This time I'm gonna hit insert image. Once again, I'm gonna choose search. And this time I'm gonna put penguin. When I press enter, it gives me a list of penguins. I can go through and find one that I think is cool. I'm gonna choose this little penguin family. And like I showed you earlier, we're gonna hit insert. I'm gonna reinforce one other option right here. We can go back to a line and I'm gonna choose center, which makes them look just a little bit cooler. The last technique is the upload technique. And we're gonna use this with our snipping tool. So the first thing I want you to do is type SNI so the snipping tool is on your screen. And then I want you to make sure you right click and I want you to pin it to the taskbar. If yours already was on the taskbar, that is fine. Once you've got it on your screen, I want you to launch it. Then go back to your pictures and let's find a new picture. I'm going to scroll up and this time I'm going to type pizza. This may be because it's close to lunchtime and I'm hungry, but who doesn't like pizza? Once again, I'm gonna click on the picture to pop it up, but this time I'm gonna use the snipping tool to just cut out the part I care about. I'm gonna select that. I don't really like that one because it had the lines, so I'm gonna do it again. Since the snipping tool is down here, I can easily hit new. And this time I'm gonna make sure I'm under those little arrows. That's a cool piece of pizza. Now I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna put it in a special folder. Look down your list of quick access and find the H drive. On your H, I want you to right click out in the end and do new folder, and I'm gonna type pictures. When I press enter, I'm gonna go in the pictures, I'm gonna click where it said capture, and I'm gonna change it to say pizza. When I hit enter, it is now saved and I can close the snipping tool. When I go back to Pix three ways, I can hit insert image and this time we're gonna upload from our computer. When we choose upload, we go back to the top, find that H colon on quick access and from the H colon, find that cool pictures folder we just made. When you double click on the pictures, it'll probably be little words. If you hit this sweet little down arrow, you can switch to large icons and find the picture that you just took. When you click open, it'll appear, and then you can continue the process two more times to get the pictures for the rest of your project. Once you've got all nine of your images, make sure you squeeze them down so that they fit nice and easy. If you have any that are large, make sure you shrink them so that way we have room under the project so we can put our descriptions of the processes we just mastered. Underneath your table, I need you to press enter and then type the following. Here are three of the ways we can add pictures. And then I want you to press enter. Once you press enter, I want you to use a bulleted list. Remember, if you can't see the bullets, it's because they're underneath and you need to use the more button and the right there. On these lines, I need you to write definitions for all three ways we can add pictures. So first type URL, then type search, and then I need you to type upload. And then in your own words, I want you to put dash and I want you to explain the technique. So you can see here, I started the URL technique for you. The sentence starts with to use the URL technique you right click the picture and find the image addressed, and then you have to type the rest of the information for it. You can see here I wrote, I am going to just type gibberish. I want you to type the real steps. When you're done with that, you need to do the same thing for the search technique and the upload technique. You can see that I have started my search and upload techniques, but I once again gave you gibberish. When you finish those steps, I want you to press enter. Notice it does another bullet. I don't want you to do that, so just use backspace and then get to your final step. The final step is for you to explain which is your favorite. So you need to tell me that my favorite is whichever technique you like best and tell me why. When you've got your project completed, double check to see that it has things I like and the pictures are awesome. 
Make sure that you've got the URL search and upload and it's shaded in bold. Make sure you have nine pictures. Let's also click the very top and press enter and put your name up there. Instead of the title style, let's switch to the heading one style. Move it to the right. Remember, use the more dots and then boom, you can put it over there. All right, friends, since you're in my class, remember it is always going to be a screenshot. If you do fit 75%, you should be able to get it totally fit in your project. Once again, we use the snipping tool, click new, and grab the entire design you just made, making sure these are all filled in with correct answers, not the gibberish that I have. When you save it, you can put it in your pictures folder, name it 3PixMDH. I'm going to put a 2 because obviously I saved this once before, and then save it. Return to Google Classroom, find your classwork and the assignment. Click View Assignment, Add File. Remember, you need to select it from your device. Go to that Pictures folder, upload it, and when it's finally ready, I need you to hit Turn In. Just like that. Alrighty friends, hopefully you had fun with this lesson. If you did, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.